Um, where, where do I start? <laughs> it's a lot to unpack because I just watched episode seven of Dawn to Dawn and just, just wow. Wow, man. This is the best episode that we've gotten so far and it's gonna take a lot to top this one. Also, before I spoil you guys, if you haven't watched the show and if you haven't watched this episode yet, make sure you go ahead and watch this. I don't wanna be to blame for spoiling y'all today, so. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay, everyone that stayed, here's the tea. Now before we get into the nitty gritty, I just have to say, what is with the Studio Ghibli-like animation? It is so fluid. And we already knew that Dawn to Dawn had some really good animation, but I loved how they saved the best, not for a fight, but for a backstory. This way the audience has time to process and appreciate every frame of the scenes and really understand what they're trying to convey. I also love how the episode was put together. There is genius behind the foreshadowing here. The beginning of the episode throws you into that confusion and panic because you're wondering whose perspective this belongs to and how does it relate to what's going on now. And I don't know about you, but the last person that I was worried about after the last episode was the antagonist. Then lo and behold, that same seed wraps around and reveals the importance of it. And that's when you realize, wow, like this is some top tier writing right here. Now there are some hints and moments in the episode that pick and prod at her backstory and try to make you figure it out for yourself. I, I did not figure it out for myself. For example, there was a scene where the acrobat Silky put her feet down graciously on the ground like a ballet dancer. This was a hint. Like I said, I didn't get it. And maybe it's because I wasn't ready or expecting a lot of what the episode gave me. Um, and I'm not really the sharpest tool in the shed, but uh, you didn't hear that from me. Of course, there are a lot of other hints and scenes that I'm not gonna cover. But, you get it. If you don't, time to rewatch. Bye bye. Thank you. In the second half of the episode, it goes right into the backstory. We're shown a woman getting money in unsavory, dangerous ways, and she walks home after this event occurred, and you can already tell she's feeling dirty, she's feeling tired, and she is just really just trying to keep it together. But when she gets home, and that door opens, it's like work never happened. Suddenly this bundle of joy throws herself at this woman and all you see is the biggest smile that I've, I've ever seen. It is so cute. Trailing after there are scenes of light, laughter, joy, and fun, dancing like a ballerina and you can see how much energy this kid has and how much it contributes to this woman's life. And yes, there are still those dark moments that are sprinkled in there where she's working multiple jobs and she's tired and she's doing unsavory things, but the good stuff definitely outshined the bad. And this is where I personally have to shout out the animation team, the design team, and the composer of the song. They did such an amazing job building this moment up to the point where I forget that tragedy has to happen in order for the present to transpire. And when you realize that, it's already too late. Tragedy hits and the scene geniusly starts with the girl crying. While you're still enamored in the song, in the light, in the music, then boom, this girl's crying starts. You automatically know that something is extremely wrong. It turns out the unsavory stuff that the woman was doing put her and her child in danger. And the worst part about it is that there's really nothing that she can do. And she caused this to happen. Now imagine how she feels realizing that these violent people are taking her joy, her child, away because of her. And after that reality sets in, that scene that started the episode 
starts playing and it clicks. Now I'm not gonna cover everything that's happening in the present, but the ending. When the acrobatic Silky gave up her aura to save Ira's life, Turbo Granny said some uh, awful but semi-true things. Turbo Granny says that she has so many regrets that she's gonna end up in the void where the living and the dead forgets her and her life was meaningless. I was ready to throw hands. I was, <laughs> mm. just saying. On top of that, if that wasn't bad enough, the Silky said if her child was someone else's daughter that she'd be much happier. Which obviously, after that montage, it's not true. But, I mean, after you caused what you caused, I can see where those feelings are coming from. Personally, this is the point where I was worrying about Acrobatic Silky's life. Like, what? What's gonna happen to her? I don't want her to go in the void. I mean, Don to Don literally gave you an episode where they're telling you that Acrobatic Silky is not evil, then flips it around saying that they're going to get a fate meant for evil people. Or, I guess, people with re regrets, I guess? Anyway, I was ready to get my feelings hurt, but Ira, the girl that Silky revives, the girl that this entity sees as her daughter, runs up and hugs her. Now, it's not specified if Silky went to the void, but I believe that action saved her and gave her peace. All in all, that is such a beautiful ending to a tragic story. In conclusion, I was so surprised on how beautiful this episode actually was. And I absolutely love how there were no explanations during the backstory, but we understood and felt everything that we needed to. And how much work that was put into the animation and the scenes. I mean, movie. <laughs> movie. So, Don to Don, if you're writing, if your storytelling is like this, then people better watch out. People better watch out because they're not ready. I'm not ready. Just saying. If you're not watching this, you are definitely missing out. Anyway, those are my thoughts on Don to Don Episode 7, A Kinder World. If you do agree, if you don't agree, then put it down in the comments so we can have a conversation. If you also found yourself liking this video, please comment, subscribe, like, share, burn it, do whatever you want. It's greatly appreciated. And with all that being said, guys, I hope you have a lovely day. Thank y'all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Love you. Ciao.